everybody my name is Tasha and welcome to day one of my daily tart well we will be making a tart every day I really love making videos and I really love tarts and I usually have this health complex thing going on when I make a lot of decorated cakes and cookies and things so I decided I could make like whole fruit tarts and not feel guilty about all the sugar so that's what we're gonna do from now on today we're going to make a mike wazowski tart from munsters inc and munsters university and i hope you enjoy here we go we're going to start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit and then we're going to add a half a cup of old-fashioned oats to a food processor process it all together until it becomes a crumbly meal like little little pieces Next, I'm going to add in four pitted dates for some sweetness. We love our sweetness. Blend that all together. Now we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt. And you can find all the ingredients and the full recipe in the description below if you have any questions or if I talk too fast for you. Then we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and coconut oil. Blend that all together until it is well combined. And then we're going to add in one whole cup old-fashioned oats. Yes, more oats, but these we're just going to pulse it. Just tap the pulse button. Mine is the same as the off button, but just tap the pulse button. Whatever that is, tap it, tap it, tap it until everything is mixed well together. Here I have a 9 inch tart pan and you know it's a tart pan where you can remove the bottom. If you just have a pie pan that's fine too but spread out your oatmeal mixture. I didn't know how thin this mixture could actually go but I actually had enough to move it up onto the sides but I was scared so I just kind of just spread it around the bottom. Bake your oatmeal tart crust for 15 minutes. When it is done, the bottom should appear dry. While that's baking, we're gonna go ahead and make our avocado banana filling, and it is just as good as it is green. To our food processor, we're gonna add in the meat of two avocados, as well as one whole banana. A whole banana, but you can break it up if you want to. It might be easier that way, actually. Once that is all pureed together, we're gonna add in a half cup almond milk, as well as a quarter teaspoon vanilla extract. Once your green monster puree is done pureeing, you can add it to the tart crust. Now I'm going to peel and slice four kiwi, as well as peel and slice a half of a banana. So all together you need one and a half bananas for this recipe. Layer your kiwi slices very close together in a spiral pattern around your tart. I started on the outside, went all the way around. You want to cover up the white centers of one slice of kiwi with the green flap of another slice of kiwi. Keep doing that all the way around the outside, then do the inside and kind of pat it down so it's level. Now layer a few slices of your banana right near the upper half of Mike Wazowski's head or the top half of your kiwi tart to form his big oval eye. <laughs> layer on one slice of kiwi to form his green iris and then I want to dot on just a couple of raisins to make his pupil. Now we're close to the end but we still have to create his mouth. He's not a real monster without some vicious teeth. I'm going to quarter a few slices of banana, that means cut them in four. Choose an area south of his eyeball where you think his mouth may be and layer on the little triangular shaped teeth, you know, to look all vicious and monster like. He usually has more teeth across the top row than the bottom row so keep that in mind. And to make it look like he has an open mouth, I put more raisins in between the teeth so it looks all dark and scary. Dark, scary night. <laughs> I really hope this gave you some ideas for what to do with all your summer kiwis. Mine were extra large, I guess because they're in season or something. And I hope this gave you some ideas for what to do with avocados in desserts because they are so creamy and create so much texture. I just love to use them and hopefully you will too. I hope you enjoy my Mike Wazowski, especially in tart form. If you really loved me and the tart subscribe like the video and I'll see you tomorrow bye mm. That crust is delicious. I really love the crust. You can really taste the cinnamon. It has a lot of texture. The avocado banana is just brilliant. 